Tetu Mall makes a convenient and economical base for visiting many of the treasures in the south of the state. Laguna Bacalar is only about 40 minutes away, Belize is a quick ferry ride, and there are three incredible yet rarely visited ruins only an hour away. Judging by the road in, there's a good chance I might have these ruins all to myself. And these guys. I'll share with you guys. All right, these stairs aren't gonna climb themselves. These are steep steps. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I'm sure Chichen Itza is amazing, but uh, there's something really special about coming to a place like this and having it all to yourself. It's about 11.40 and I'm the first person, maybe the only person here today. Hey, remember that one time you had the whole Mayan temple to yourself? Yeah, me too. This is incredible. This is beautiful. This is, I'm so glad you're able to still climb some of these because the view is amazing. I even got cell phone service. And there's just so much to be appreciated at these Mayan temples. You've got the history, the architecture, the views from the top, the trees. There's just nobody else out here. This place is breathtaking. <sighs> Get it? I'm kind of wondering if they built this one to look at that one, or if they built that one to look at this one. I don't know. This place is huge. There's about 10 structures, and almost half of them look like that. different the vegetation is at this one compared to the other two, which are only like 30 minutes away. It's so crazy to me that a place like this, this beautiful with so many structures, receives so few people. There should be hordes of people, not just them. So here's a little hidden gem just outside of Chetu Mall called Laguna Milagros. It is full of locals. If you didn't know about it, you just keep on driving by whether you're coming in or out of Chetu Mall. I spent all day hiking around archeological sites and so this is the perfect place for me to come, relax, soak my feet, and maybe have a cerveza. If you have a little more energy, there's always that option too. Bienvenidos a Laguna Milagros. El paraíso mexicano está para ustedes. Okay, he's good. He's good. You can. What is near me, trabajo? Back in Chetu Mall, I was staying right downtown, which made it easy to explore the city. So, a little fun fact every once in a while, you can see a crocodile hanging out right here. But it's not just any crocodile, he's actually the town pet, and they call him Larry. Definitely see why this place has such good reviews on Google. Tortillas are awesome. Bahia Boulevard, or AKA The Boulevard, is the Bayside hub of entertainment and activity. You can consider it the lifeblood of the city. If you venture a little north of Chetumal, you'll find another impressive archaeological site. 
Shh, he's sleeping. You know, I really like that they have skeletons here. It really brings the place to life. And a charming little community with delicious food. Okay, so right now, Daniela and I are eating at Las Tortugas, and it's your favorite restaurant in? In Calderitas. Calderitas. We are eating cazón. Uh, it's a regional fish from the peninsula, the Yucatan, and it's good. It's a salty fish. Uh, they served it with uh, tomato sauce, and it's pretty nice, pretty tasty. Show us how it's done. Okay, I'm gonna try to eat the whole thing so I don't make a mess. Well, we've got our work cut out for us. I hope you're hungry. You may envy us because of the delicious things we are eating. <laughs> you can't have any of this. This is normally for about three to four people. But she's with eating with an American. I'm gonna put it down. I'll be honest. You won't hear many Mexicans recommend that you go to Chetumal. But while it may lack the glitz and glam of Cancun and the Riviera Maya, what it does have is something even harder to find in this day and age. Authenticity. So last night my local friend Daniela brought me here, which is a little secret that only the locals know about. It is basically a family run business where they make ice cream, sell it right out of their living room, and they've been here for over 60 years. She was just about to close up shop. We rolled up and she opened up so we could get some ice cream. It's her heart. It's her heart. As my trip nears its end, I'm reminded of a quote from the book Vagabonding by Rolf Potts. In it, he writes, The secret of adventure is not to carefully seek it out, but to travel in such a way that it finds you. So the next time you visit Cancun, walk, bus, or drive yourself down to the Grand Costa Maya and open yourself up to a whole world of opportunities. <laughs>